So today we're releasing 1,300 juvenile freshwater pearl mussels as part of a bigger project to release 3,000 over the next three years uh, to try and restore a population that's dwindled down to about 300 adults left in the wild. So this release is really kind of seven years in the making because we've been breeding these mussels since 2007. It takes a long time for the mussels to grow and during that time they've got to be in the right conditions which we keep for them here at the FBA before putting them back out into their native rivers. We release them when the temperature is warm during summer so that they're active and it gives them time to, to bed in before the winter high flows come. The numbers that are in the earth now are too low to recruit naturally. On top of that, the adults that are left out there are at least 70 years old. And so if we don't do something now, we're at risk of losing the population. So we did a pilot release in 2017 and we had good survival from that pilot. And so we're rolling out the releases on a wider scale over the next three years and beyond, not just in the Earth, but also in other English mussel rivers, with the hope of storing and securing those populations into the future. We tag the mussels with a number tag, so we know which individual's which. And then we also tag them with an electronic tag called pit tag, which helps us to find them when they're buried in the substrate. So this helps us monitor them over several years so that we can see how they're doing in the wild. So historically in the year, the population was at a much higher density and now that's been restricted to just a few small pockets which we're trying to work with West Cumbria Rivers Trust who are doing a lot of river restoration to improve those sites so that we can reintroduce more mussels that are going to survive in the river. The work of West Cumbria Rivers Trust within the area is to try and improve the habitat for freshwater pearl mussels and the host fish that are salmon and trout. So we work with farmers and other landowners to try and plant trees, fence off rivers and basically trying to make the river more natural which means better conditions for all that live within the river. Because of the age of the existing population there's a risk that habitat improvements alone would not bring about benefits quickly enough and that's why it's so important to have that link with the FBA where we are releasing mussels into this river.